Yeah, you're at one, mate. You're at one with it. Oh, I'm at one with my fence <laughs> one. Yeah, there you go. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome along to another first impression piece from us this time. I think it's fair to say it is the highly anticipated Fent Gen 7 700 series tractor. So, following on from our walk round piece that we did at Lama 2023 with uh, Peter Henson from Fent, we had a good look at the tractor there. Now we are out with the Fent team again at one of their demo events and it's just a good opportunity to basically get bums in seats, have a bash, see what it's like and for us to get a first impression of this new tractor development and hopefully if we sweet talk Fent and uh, keep it all rosy we'll, uh, we'll get the tractor back at uh, some point later on hopefully this year in 2023 depending on when you are watching this and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll bring it up to our test farm. Stick a set of triple mowers on it and see what's what. Give Definitely. it some pain, shall yeah, we? Give, give it some beans. That's the one. Yeah. So, like I say, bit of a first impression piece today on this new tractor. So we shall uh, we'll kick off uh, with this. So Darren, I mean, talk us through the tractor. We'll we'll just start with, I mean. What's in the family? What models have you got in this new Gen 7 so, 700 series? The highly anticipated Gen 7 700 series. So we are sat in the range top in 728. So it starts off down at the 720. So we've got a 720, 722, 724, 726, and then a 728. Right. The 728, obviously the range topper, we do get a 20, horsepower dynamic performance boost oh, okay yeah, yeah. but it's sort of unlike many competitor boosts yeah. is it's always there so if the tractor needs it or thinks it needs it it will then give us a 20 horsepower boost um so it's you know whether we're stationary pto work whether we're draft work transport work if it's a heavy load on the tractor we'll then get the boost yeah um, so yeah, works works really really well. So it's a bit more intelligent than just a, a boost that kicks in with PTO or transport yeah. transport work. It's there, sort of actively compensating all the time. Yeah, the it's compensating all the time in the background. So if the tractor thinks, oh, I'm heavily under load and I need need a bit of help, it's there. If it doesn't need it, then obviously it's not gonna yeah. not gonna put it there to whatever it's. So that sort of compensates for things like I mean like air conditioning and draw on the hydraulic circuits and things like that. Yep, yep, definitely, definitely. Um, one of the main ones is obviously a lot of people use stationary PTOs and thinking, or, you know, wood chipper, for example, I need more power. Yeah. If it needs it, it's going to give it a little bit more. Some people say, oh, why, why do you only have it on the 728? Well, it, yeah, it takes the 728 up to 300 horsepower. Why do we not have it with a 720, 722? Because obviously within that 20 horsepower bracket, there is another tractor in the range. That's it, yeah. Um, so yeah, basically we're, we're in the 728. So this one can be you know, 40K, 50K or 60K. Right. Whereas anything from a 720 to a 724 is obviously your 40K or your 50K. That's that's all you can spec it with. So it's only the 726 and 728 that get the 60K right. option. And then obviously with this, it's a whole new tractor apart from the Vizio cab that we're in now. Yeah. Obviously from the ground up is a completely new tractor. So as Peter said in the in the walk around at Llama, obviously we've we've basically got a 7.5 core 75 engine now. So it's an Agco power. That's six, it. 
six cylinder, 7.5 litre, completely all new engine. And then it, it sort of inherits from its, its older brothers, should you say, larger brothers. It gets the low revving, high torque right. in the engine. Um, and as you can see today, we're, you know, we're doing sort of 920 RPM, but we're down at 1500 revs. That's so, it, climbing up this hill as yeah, well. We're, you know, it's very much the, the, we get low rev, high torque, and our torque figures are between sort of 1500 to 1700 is where we get full power. And that's sort of where, where we are now. Whereas obviously if we were in an eco mode, we yeah. could be down to sort of 1300 revs. Whereas obviously in our Gen 6 724, we would probably be up to probably 1900, 2000 revs yeah. doing the same the same job. That's it. And you mentioned obviously you've the the 700 series Gen 6 there. Obviously you've still got that. So, I mean, with that in mind and the current 800 series in mind, where does this sort of sit in the family? Is it overlapping obviously with the, the current Gen 6 700s? Is it replacing what we know now? So, Currently, is the eight hundred? Yeah, yeah, what, what's it's, happening? It's sat. If you if you stood them all side by side, it fits smack bang in the middle. Yeah. But predominantly, it's sort of replacing the current eight to eight model or eight hundred model at the moment. And then, obviously, the the seven two four Gen six is still there for you know yes the smaller tractor going back down. But I think you'll find a lot of guys that were running sort of. Max, maxed out at that 724 that didn't want to go up into the, the 828 model. Yeah. This sits smack bang in the middle. Um, so yes, you know, depending on what tires you put on there, yeah, we could be down to sort of the same height as the Gen 6 724. But with these bigger tires on, yeah, we're probably just fractionally smaller than the 828, but we're lighter than the 828, but slightly heavier right. than so you have literally put it we, slap we bang down the middle. in the middle but for for this size of tractor obviously you know we've got a brand new transmission in there the ta190 that is basically the same as its its older brothers bigger brothers we have got no range changes now so it's seamless from either 0 to 40 0 to 50 0 to 60 yeah. so there's no range change any longer um and obviously you know with that we've basically been able to obviously as you can while you're doing now with a pull in turn effect so our maneuverability now is pretty exceptional for for a larger tractor than the 724 gen 6 we can actually turn sharper really so it, yeah when you can see on the end is with the with its sort of started off in the thousand series then came into the 900 and yeah. now it's down into the gen 7 so Whereas a normal tractor, when you turn on the headland or turn in the yard, you end up finding that you're you're scuffing or it's it's trying to push you along. Mm. But what it's doing is as it's going along, because the the tractor knows that you know it's got to go round. The, the front wheels are actually going faster, so you won't notice it or marginally, but it's basically pulling you around and pulling yeah. you in. So you'll find when you get to the end, when you start to turn you'll go again and it will literally just pull the tractor around just and it, it feels as though you're pulling yeah. but actually when you're going around it's 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 reducing sort of that you know turn radius by you know up to 10 percent against some of the other models right. and you know we're, we 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 had a pretty good turn <laughs>